What is going on, YouTube? Lamont at large. I'm coming to you from Valencia, California. We're only a few miles away from Magic Mountain, and I am standing at 28385 Constellation Road here in Valencia, California. And if you see this light pole and you see this very area, this is the exact area where a 40 year old actor Paul Walker, uh, best known as uh, playing in the Fast and the Furious movies, uh, this is where he uh, lost his life on November 30th of 2013. He was riding as a passenger in a car being driven by Roger Rodas. It was a Porsche Carrera GT. And according to the uh, site investigators, after reconstructing the crime and kind of just having a guesstimate on how fast the car was driving, it's estimated that this car uh, came around this corner at about almost 100 miles an hour. This is a 45 mile an hour uh, speed limit right here, but this is a very well-known area for uh, late night drag races, illegal racing. As you can see on the street, uh, people coming in here, I'm, I'm sure they're doing it as some kind of a tribute or respect to the uh, site itself, but you can see a lot of uh, people uh, doing donuts and wheelies in the street right here. You can see the tire marks everywhere. They're up and down this whole entire street. And uh, this isn't the exact light pole. This is a replacement light pole. But as you can see right here, there are people have in the cement, uh, says rest in peace, Paul Walker, uh, right there. And uh, these are, there was a couple trees right here where they've been cut down. But uh, as you can see, uh, people have left rocks, uh, coins, little mementos, and what have you. Uh, this is where the car crash into the light pole ended up right here and uh, there's some videos if you want to go look on YouTube uh, people uh, of course pulled out their phones uh, they seen this car set on fire and uh, a couple people out here went into this business to get a fire extinguisher but it, it was already too late uh, the driver, Roger Rodas, who was a friend and business partner of Paul Walker. I believe they own some kind of a uh, some kind of collection of cars together. Uh, Paul Walker, just like uh, in the movie Fast and the Furious, he was uh, very into street racing. He was very into um, high-end, fast, exotic cars. And, uh, yeah, uh, it's kind of uh, odd how he died. Uh, he died the way his character lived, uh, driving really, really fast. Uh, very reckless uh, driving on the hands of Roger Rodas. Uh, according to the autopsy, autopsy was kind of difficult in this situation because both uh, men were burned beyond recognition. And uh, from what they could tell, it appears that Roger Rodas uh, died on impact and uh, Paul Walker had survived the crash initially, but he... Uh, unfortunately and horrifically uh, burned to death in the accident uh, a very very horrible way to die very very sad he was very very well loved in the Hollywood uh, community uh, fans millions of fans all over the world uh, a series Fast and the Furious I mean I believe I've watched maybe one of them the first one I've watched I've never watched another one but I know they've made at least seven or eight um, Fast and the Furious movies. I believe there's already one that's about to come out again. Uh, hey, if you're making money at it, keep on pumping them out. And as long as people keep watching, you know, why not? Uh, he died uh, in the middle of filming uh, one of the Fast and the Furious movies. I'm really not sure. I can't tell you how they ended up finishing that movie. But uh, they did get the permission of the Walker family uh, to go ahead and finish filming the movie uh paul walker's family ended up suing uh the roger rodas uh estate for uh any uh damages you know being that roger was the cause of the accident he was the one that was at the wheel at the time and also uh, walker's family attempted to sue porsche now you know, we live in a country where everyone is going to sue everyone. It's almost the American dream is to sue. 
<laughs> you know, I sue you, you sue me. We're all going to just sue each other, and then we'll just let the insurance companies figure everything out. And um, Porsche basically, uh, you know, they released a public statement basically saying uh, the the crash was not the cause of any uh, supposed defects in that car. Uh, I believe there was something weird about the car, a, a design flaw, so to speak. Um, but the the crash scene, the crash scene investigators, um, you know, they were looking at this car, and the tires on the car were not in good shape. Number one, and uh, they determined that the cause of the accident was uh, on Roger, and it was a, a combination of speed and uh, having uh, uh, bad tires on the car. Nevertheless, uh, you know, both, I, I believe both members, both people that died, family members sued Porsche. And, you, you know, part of me says, how do you sue a car manufacturer when you're driving 100 miles an hour into a pole? That doesn't really make sense to me. But eventually... Just to get it out of the public spotlight, I believe Porsche settled with the family for whatever an undisclosed amount, being that uh, it probably would hurt their image and hurt their name to be associated with a very famous Hollywood actor who died in their car. Being it that it's not Porsche's problem, Porsche makes a product, they don't you know, they make a product, they make a high-end car, they don't tell you how to drive the car, that's totally up to you. Um, nevertheless, um, just a very sad, sad, um, scene right here. And, I, uh, coincidentally enough, a couple months ago, I'm at my friend's house and we're watching an old television show called The Throb. And if anybody remembers that show, it was basically a comedy about, uh, people that were working out a record, uh, record company. And, uh, this little kid played in that, in the one TV show and then one sh episode of the show and just by happenstance uh, it was Paul Walker so I didn't realize that he as a child was uh, acting so um, yeah very very sad uh, just wanted to show you guys really quickly the scene here and uh, people still come over here to pay their respects to uh, Hollywood actor and uh, ba basically a, a total icon you know, the way he went out, Paul Walker. So uh, rest in peace to Paul and Roger. You know, hey, n not to chastise anybody. It, you know, driving fast, it's just an accident. But I always remind everybody who watches me, watches my channel, please, guys, dr drive slow. It's not worth it. Just take it easy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. All right, guys. Uh I am Lamont at Large. I'm signing out from Valencia, California. Stay safe out there. Don't drive dangerously. Don't drive too fast. Don't drive too fast. All right. Catch up with you later. Peace out.